Self-service bounty clearance. Come on, please. Let United Colonies bounty of 500 credits. I can pay off bounties in the United Colonies from here. Okay, that is a relief. 550. Okay, there's a 50 credit surcharge. You know what? I'm not complaining. That's pretty cheap, actually. In fact, you know what? 500 credits? I mean, look, 500 credits for stealing the artifact. Yeah, I get. But, but we shot a lot of people on the way out. I mean, granted, they were shooting at us and we didn't have much of a choice, but that, as a general rule, does not make much of a defence. Yes, I'm sorry, Your Honour. I, I realise we shot those 20 people as we were leaving the bank, but they were trying to stop us stealing all the money. I mean, pff, what, what could we do? Okay, so the plan for today is we're going to call in a bookstore and deliver what I think are a few rare books. Okay, is, is somebody... What, 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 what is... Okay, okay. What is, what is going on? What is going on? Have got oh my god, you don't think this has got anything to do with that? Oh wow. Okay. Have we got have we got more? Have we got more? Oh my god, there's dead security everywhere. Okay, maybe we should speak to... Oh, I can't remember her name. I cannot remember her name. Oh, no. Please tell me this is not... Keone Alpin. I... I helped her place some sensors, didn't I? She placed some sensors? Where was she again? Over in this direction. Oh, please tell me I didn't. My husband. I think he would have liked what I've done here. He so loved books. Oh, you're the books. I've got some stuff for you. I, I, I will be back. I really, right the now... shouldn't cause any disruption at all. I checked the schematic three times. Okay, are you sure? Because I've just seen some Ashta in the... That's nothing to do with your senses, is it? There's just... Oh, it's you. I got the data from the seismic sensors, and I, I, I need help. Okay. Nothing that would get you in trouble this time. Promise. Okay. So, you didn't do anything that caused the Ashta to get inside the walls. That was just an unfortunate coincidence. What, what do you need? I need someone to go talk to Davis Wilson. He isn't speaking to me. None of the security folks are, actually. Okay. Why? I mean, obviously I will help, but could you explain why they're not speaking to you? Oh, thank you. It's really nice to hear that when others just don't seem to care. Remember the sensors you helped me set up around the city? Well, yeah. Davis Wilson is pretty angry about it. I suppose I should have expected that, but now no one involved with security is willing to talk to me. At all. Why though? Why really is he angry need with to you? Coordinate with them because the data I'm getting from the sensors is, well, it's off. Not what I expected at all. Okay. Maybe your tech isn't working. What's wrong with the de What's wrong with the de Oh, I wish I had precognition Kinda going right now. everything. The timing of the results, the strength of the signals. I did a lot of research on the Ashta before I started this project, and none of it lines up like it should. Okay, but nothing you did would have caused Ashton to get inside, though, right? He's just annoyed because you did something without his say-so. Okay, are you sure the tech is working correctly? Maybe it's broken? No, the tech is fine. I never would have put it out there if I had any reservations about that. Okay. Look, I know I screwed up here. I went behind Davis's back and did what he told me not to. I don't expect him to talk to me. 
But this, I'm not gonna lie. It looks an awful lot like someone has been purposely messing with the system. Okay. I can't just stroll up and accuse him of anything, but maybe someone, you I'm thinking, could just ask around, see if something is going on. Why would he mess with I'd the data, really though? I'd appreciate it. Oh, oh God, it's a ship landing. I thought it was a... Mo oh, well, I will. I absolutely will. I will totally. I will, I will definitely... There isn't anything else attacking, is there? Okay, so it's, it's nothing to do with the sensors I planted for her, then. Well, that is a relief. I'm listening for the sounds of screaming and... Oh, okay. Was there anyone else? I'm not taking this poor woman's credits. I'll take the ammo just so I can... You looking for a bounty? No. No, I'm not. Okay, you know what? Before I do anything, let's just... Let's sell those books to that woman. Um, it was... Where the... I, I was right next to it, and now I've got myself completely lost because I'm running around chasing sounds. This... Ow. Yeah, okay, that was my bad. Hey! Feel free to read. This is a haven for all that love letters. If you want to purchase anything, just let me know. Or if you have if, any rare finds. If I have any books for your old Earth collection, I'll sell them to you. I've brought everything that I found in my ship hold. There's quite a lot What's of them. What's this? History of pirates? I've never even... My goodness, the original source for Blackbeard! This is amazing! Here, here. Okay. That's not, I, I may have more, though. I've got Omega loads. Omega the Last Days. Huh. I can't say I've heard of it, but this looks fascinating. I hope this suffices. I know what I'm reading tonight. Yeah, honestly, at this point, I almost don't need the money, but I'm just selling it to you because I want you to have it in your collection. Anything oh else? My. Oh, my H.G. Wells! Oh, right. That. Yes. Some of his short stories, he's one of my all-time favorite historical figures. What I would give to be able to talk to him. But reading his works is satisfying all the same. Oh, I have been busy. Thank I've been collecting you. tons Thank of things, you. haven't I? Because I think there's more. W.E.B. Du Bois, the civil rights activist? He wrote a science fiction novel. I simply must have this. this I can't remember real, which one right? that one Thank you. was. The Comet, yes. Let me see. Didn't I have like the origin of uh, species? No. I'm afraid there's nothing you have that interests me. All right, okay. Well then, if it's okay with you, I'd just like Happily. to sell you the rest of my books just because it's, it's helped to get rid of them. What have I, I've got, I have actually got 10 of the Comet. 10 of them. You may as well have the rest. You can sell some. Tales of Space and Time. I thought maybe that was one. Sort of Damocles. Sir Livingstone's second journal. No, none of these. None of the, yeah, I might keep some of these then. I might keep some of them for my own collection. Uh, and of course I do have Dickens. I know you can't stand Dickens. Well, it's not can't stand him, but you've. Got loads of them, but you can have more. Okay, we need to speak to Davis at security, and he is in this direction. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go speak to security for you right now. Make sure. Hopefully, you're not some UC drone. I'm definitely not a UC drone. Trust me on this. Recently, in a bit of trouble with them. I mean, not their fault. I'm not going to blame them and say it's because they're overbearing and against freedom or anything like that. I got them. What do you call them? Corns? Yeah, I got corns. I have no idea what that is, and I'm sort of thinking... All right, is this Davis? Never, ever go outside the city walls after sundown. Okay, thank you for the advice. Wasn't really planning on going out of the city walls anyway. Are you Davis? People around here think we own Aquila. 
They're wrong. The Asta do. All right, excellent. Don't so. mean to be rude, but I got a lot of things on my plate right now. So unless this is important, I'm going to have to ask you to come back some other time. It's pretty important. Um, I hear there's something strange happening with the Ashta. Let's start with that. Oh, why didn't I take Precog? But yeah, I mean, the Ashta were attacking in town earlier. Oh, did you now? And did that perhaps come from a certain entitled so-called inventor who's caused me no end of headaches? No, it came from the fact... Okay, all right, fine. Yeah, she asked me to speak to you, but I also saw an Ashtar attack in the center of town. Look, Keone is worried about the results she's getting. Oh, is she? After going off and doing exactly what she was told not to, she's concerned now? I don't see how my it hurts, life though. a lot more difficult, but I don't have time to deal with that right now. I have more important things to worry about. Been what? tracking Ashta for a long time now, and suddenly their behavior doesn't add up. Probably not a coincidence. Wait. She should be accountable if she put people in danger. Maybe that would explain the danger she's got. Maybe that would explain the data she's getting. If you're getting, if the Astra are doing something weird, she's detecting it. Maybe it would, but right now I don't give a damn about her data. Now right, I need but it, to get back out there and get some eyes on this situation. Since you're so interested, looks like you can handle yourself. You want to join me? Sure. Yeah. Go on. I'm in. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard more than a few hunters say something similar. They nearly all apologize for it later. What? Give Ashton? yourself up however you need to and meet me at the gate. We'll head out from there. Okay. I'm geared up. I'm geared up and ready to go. Let's go, Barrett. We're going hunting. No, no I'm just thinking, if... If you're saying the Astra have been behaving weird and she's getting weird readings, maybe she could have given you some advanced warning. Give me some and then, time to get to the gates. I ain't as nimble as I used to be. I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to rush you. I'm just telling you what I'm thinking on the way. Hey, no funny stuff with that boost pack. Got enough light traffic as it is. I am resisting the urge to boost the living crap out of myself right now. Uh, but you know what? I don't want yet another... Vigilance is what keeps Aquila City bounty. safe. Alright. You ready to head out there? Yes! As ready, ready as I'll ever be. Raring to go! Well, you certainly brought enough enthusiasm for the both of us. Just stick close to me, keep your head on a swivel, and you'll be fine. We'll be back before you know it. Okay. And maybe we'll get some answers. That would be nice. Okay. So... Having a good Ashton. Mm, better than yesterday. For reasons I will not go into. Did I see something? Okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. Ashton. This is what I'm talking about. These tracks. They're all wrong. The space in the depth just doesn't make any sense. Why Let's not? Let's keep going. All right. You know what, though? Can I get the precog going? I wish. Whoa. All right. I guess I know where he's going. I'm just, I wish the precognition was not so loud. The Ashta are clever, but they usually pick it. These tracks don't follow any of the paths I expect them to. It just doesn't add up. Looks like the tracks head this way. They're being led, aren't they? They're being led. This is Xeno Warfare territory. What in the hell? This is one of our security bots. Someone sent this thing out to mimic the Ashton? Why in the world? Shit, you hear that? Eyes up, we got incoming. Uh, where, 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 okay. Ashton, 
Okay. Don't you giggle at me? Go low tech video okay. Was there anything else? Okay, not actually what I want to. That's that. Where, 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 where is our? Where is our? Where is he? Is he? Where's he gone? Oh, he's, he's legging it. He's legging it. Why is he legging it? Why is he legging it? Excuse me. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not going to chat about that? Ash the Burrow. You feel them coming before you see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. how to handle yourself. Most times someone encounters an ash that they panic. Not you. Now I got even more questions. Who in the hell did this and why? It can't have been her, can, can it? I don't think it's... I don't think it's, uh, Kaoni. Maybe this is someone's idea of a joke. No, I mean... I think someone's up to something more serious, but here's what I will say. I don't think Keone's responsible for this. No, I expect not. Someone from Aquila Security did this. We're the only ones that have access to these robots or can change their orders. Okay. I need to check this over. See if I can find some more details. While I do that, I need you to run back to the city. Check okay. the access logs on the computer in the barracks. Look for whoever signed for this thing last. Okay. I'll meet you in the city when I'm done here. Oh, wait. Where are you going? What? Where's he going? I mean, we didn't actually check the... We didn't check the robot very well, did we? So, basically, this thing was mimicking the Ashton just not particularly well. So, her system wouldn't have given them advanced warning, but it might have told her that something was wrong. Yeah. Okay. Ashta tracks literally walking out of town. Yeah, that does seem a little odd, doesn't it? Okay. So I need to search the security logs. Morning. And where am I searching specifically? Still have some potatoes to harvest. Carrots and harvest. Uh, potatoes. Yeah. Carrots and potatoes. No, just some graffiti. We cleaned it right up. I don't like those hooligans in here after hours. No harm, no foul. I mean, some of that work was even pretty good. Almost hated to clean it up. Well, just keep an eye on it. Okay, don't the water think... filtration gets busted. It's bottled water until we get it back up and running. It's just okay. kids being kids. Don't think that's anything to do with us. <laughs> Barracks. Okay. Official business. I'm here on behalf of Davis investigating some odd... Well, some oddness. Right. We need to find out who accessed the computers last. Okay. Patrol notes. Small pack of Ashta, North Ridge. Another fighter, Aggies, to yada, yada, yada. Okay. Little Miss Emmy, Emily caught an actual pickpocket. Give her a sticker. Didn't go over well. I'm not sick, she said. <laughs> Almost had a shootout at the spaceport. Not quite sure what was up with that. No one's pressing charges. That wasn't us, was it? Access logs. Equipment checkout. Sidearm, Wilson Davis. Canteen, Wilson Davis. Baton. Levita Q. 
If anyone can find Almetto's helmet, there will be a reward. It has a picture of his son on it, so it has sentimental value. Okay, we should keep our eyes open for that. Access logs. Robot updates. Last entry, Kirkland B. Data corruption detected. Bailey Kirkland? Alright, I guess we go see the old uh, head honcho. Rather than talking to the person directly. Not what he asked us to do. But... Oh. Or... Where was it? Nope, no, no. I should actually show some initiative and talk to the person. I feel like we should be telling him first. If it but... weren't for the walls, the whole town would be an Ashta buffet. Okay. Oh, hey there. Back already. Davis said something about you going on patrol with him? Yeah. He's, <clears throat> He's alright, isn't he? Nothing uh, bad happened out there. Okay, I checked the security logs. I know. Oh, I did. Where's my... I, where, I keep forgetting to do it. Look, he's not going to be happy when he hears you're the one who sent that robot out there. Oh, no. Pre-cog. I keep forgetting. People getting hurt was never part of it. Davis has just been so stressed over this whole thing with that woman and her sensors, and it's been affecting him on the job. The damn robot was just supposed to stomp around, mess up her data, and then come back. No. I didn't know it would rile up the Ashta so much, and it wasn't supposed to break down. If my pockets... No, it sounds like to me you should start looking f for a new job. <sighs> I'll ask Davis to go easy on you, but you know, like, if you're the one that riled up those Ashta, you're kind of responsible for those deaths in the center of town. I mean, I'll tell him you did it for dumb reasons rather than nefarious ones. It won't matter. I really screwed this up. Maybe. Maybe not. You had good intentions, then that counts for something. Right. Okay. Let's go and tell Davis. I don't know how this is going to affect Kaomi. I keep forgetting how to say her name. I keep forgetting her name, basically. Is 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 a better way of saying it, but yeah. All right. Okay, and you know what? We need to get to the bottom of it. All right. The robots internals are fried, so I came up empty. You have any better luck than I did? Know who's responsible? Yeah, uh, no way to no. Ah, uh, look. <sighs> Kirkland said she did it to make your life. Oh, I feel like I shouldn't. But no, I need to tell him. He needs to know. She did screw up, and people are dead. Kirkland said she did it to make your life easier. Said Keone was affecting your job performance. You serious? Yeah. Oh, Bailey. What were you thinking? My own people sabotaging equipment. Whole world's going crazy. Well, I'm out to go deal with this. Thanks for helping out. I'll kick some credits your way. May not be much. I'm not made of money around here. You yeah, might want not... to give Miss Alpin some time to get clean data. Might be a research. Well, it might prove useful. Okay. I'm sure she'll be glad to hear that. All right. So we're probably pretty much done here. Oh, no, wait. You know what? I need to pick up Ezekiel. We're going to pick up Ezekiel. And also check with the shipbuilder. That is a major upgrade. That pushes my mobility all the way to 100. It drops the top speed because it's a C-class engine. Slate and aerospace. That's the company owned by the guy on Neon, isn't it? The one we took the artifact from. Okay. This company makes some good engines. All right, let's just... Yeah, jump range is down. Top speed is down, but mobility is at a hundred, and they look good. Probably want to change the color a little. Woo. Woo! Okay, that would break my bank. That apparently is an expensive engine. 
Okay, so I only actually need two engines to give this 100 mobility. It's still very expensive, but that is an option. I'm sure it would probably get a little less mobile if I added a few more weapons. And I might be able to because these engines only require two each, which is really efficient. And if I only need two engines, I only need four power, which gives me a lot of power that I could put into more weapons. Okay, so using the B-class Slayton engines gets me the 100 mobility and keeps the 140 top speed. It's a lot cheaper, but unfortunately each engine has a three power requirement and four of them means it's just as power hungry as the other setup. These Slayton engines are pretty damned superb. I mean, this one here only requires Starship Design Rank 1. Whereas some of these require two and even four. That one gives more maneuvering thrust. But this one, for example, gives 3060. The Slayton gives 2930, but only requires two power where this requires three. So in theory, I could have six of these and that would... How expensive are those? Pretty expensive for A-class engines, but... That would, that would deliver a lot of thrust and increase the top speed as well. Oh, that is, that would be a good option. I think I'm going to stick with these engines for now. I mean, I want to try the B-Class, the 140 top speed. An 82 mobility is still pretty good. And these engines are expensive. I mean, I think my instinct is telling me I'm going to replace them with two of those really good C-Class engines and then use the extra power to just boost a bunch of other things like weapons. I might replace the shield, actually. Okay, I'll be honest, a big part of the reason I want to think about it a little while is we've only just upgraded the ship anyway. And I've not really put her through her paces. She's faster now, she's more mobile, but I don't really know how much difference that's going to make. And if I upgrade the engines again, I'll never know. And the curiosity will literally kill me. It's, it's a medical condition that I have. Curiosity is actually toxic to my system if I don't flush it out by satiating that curiosity. I've got a doctor's note about Ezekiel! Welcome aboard! Orders for me? Hope you're having a good Just one. Just saying hi! Thought I'd welcome you aboard and... Can I ask you a few questions? Just, you know, get to know you before we take off. If you want, Captain. Okay... You mentioned you haven't worked on a starship for a long time. Is there a reason for that? I was in a starship accident when I was young. Okay. It killed my sister, Emmeline. Ooh. Left me with this scar. I haven't been off world since. After Emmeline died, space travel lost a lot of its luster. I couldn't see the wonder in it anymore without her. I'm a universal, so that's a heavier thing for me than most. Yeah, that sucks. A universal? Yeah, a universal? It's a term for practitioners of Sanctum Universum. My entire family were universals. Oh, we've met a few out in the void. Um, chatty folk, actually. How long ago was that? The accident happened 12 years ago. 12 years to the day before we met, actually. Okay. 12 years? I couldn't stay in one place that long even after an accident like that. Okay, that sounds a bit judgy, doesn't it? I mean, it's probably true. I'd avoid space travel too if something like that happened to me. Well, I probably wouldn't. That's a lie. Look, I understand what you went through, but I'd, I'd be back out there. And you know what? I think this is good for you. Don't scowl at me. Trust me. Get back out there. I know you've been through a lot, but let's just go see the universe, yeah? I didn't have much of a choice at first. I was only a kid when she died. I didn't have the means to leave Aquila. And when mm. I grew up, I just couldn't stand the thought of the space lanes without her. Just seeing a starship at the spaceport was enough to make me miss her. She was the only family I had. Her parents died when I was just a baby. 
When Semeline was gone, I was all on my own. Ooh. Yeah, I hope your family's bad luck with starships doesn't roll. That's... Okay. Well, who took care of... Actually, do you mind if I ask how your parents di died? Is that too much in one day? Well, they died in a starship accident, too. Almost exactly 12 You're years kidding me. before Emmeline did. Some coincidence, huh? Yeah, that's a little bit of an understatement right there. So who took care of you after Emmeline died? I mainly took care of myself. Our parents had a small house in the stretch that Emmeline inherited when they died. That's where I stayed. A couple of the neighbors offered to let me live with them, but I never took them up on it. I couldn't bear to move out of that house. But they kept me fed and helped with the bills until I was old enough to start working. I wouldn't have made it without them. Oh, well, okay, that's nice. Yeah, I can't imagine how painful a loss like that is. All of it. Nobody can if they haven't been through it. That's part of the reason I've kept to myself all these years. I didn't want to bother the folks around me with something they couldn't understand. Right. I'd like to ask you more about you know what, let's I think maybe that's enough for for now. I tell you what, though, yeah, why did you ask me about my reasons for traveling in space before you took this job? I wanted to know what you stood for before I signed on. And uh, my faith teaches that a person's connection to space says a lot about them. Leaving Aquila was a big decision for me. I had to make sure I was traveling with a captain who loves being out here, whatever their reason. Okay, well, I do, so... <laughs> uh, it was an off-button question. No, it wasn't. May I ask what religion you practice? Well, these are universal. He's already told me. So what did my answer tell you about me? It told me you think of space as more than a means to an end. And you must really love it out here if you travel just for the thrill of it. <laughs> I have a lot of respect for people who see things that way. All right, good man, good man. Is that why you decided to leave Aquila now? Hope you're superstitious. This is going to sound crazy otherwise. Mm. <sighs> Something life-changing happens to me every... 12 years, almost to the day. We met right on time, 12 years after the last major event. It, it felt like a sign. I'm not the type of person to ignore those. You know what? I can respect that. Sailors of old, and you know, we're kind of like that. Superstitious lot. So we've got 12 years to forge some new memories for you, yeah? To get it all right. So you're, you're in the right place, definitely. You're with the right person. I've always felt at home in space. That eases my mind. To, to tell you the truth, I'm still nervous about being out here. It's been years since the last time I was on a starship. Okay, well, you know what? I'm not going to poke more about the personal issues. And don't be nervous. We're going to well, be fine. I'll be seeing you. I say, fine, we're about to head off and visit some sort of temple to pick up a superpower. Did I mention I have superpowers? Probably should have told you that before. Actually, I don't think I knew that when I asked you to join the ship, but I definitely knew when I assigned you. We have got superpowers. We're going to pick up another one. And also, I believe there's a Crimson Fleet ghost we need to deal with here. Well, I already have a destination in mind, but it's not a new star, it's a new planet. Two new planets, actually. Okay. Red Apogee. Surrounded Our... by stars and the vastness of space. Just gonna assign all the power. So, we're still down on power, unfortunately, but that's partly because we're missing Vasco and Sam. All right, so, the plan, gentlemen, is... Have I actually scanned all of these? I've not scanned this system, so we are going to do that, but we have got some specific things. Crimson Fleet Ghost. Locate and destroy the Crimson Fleet Ghost. Why? It's a Trackers Alliance contract. It's basically 
a bounty. Right, that does make sense. Okay, I think we get the power first, yeah? Let's go get the power first, then we'll take care of the Crimson Ghost, and then we're going to scan this system, because I've not actually scanned it. And before we leave, we're probably going to come back and spend a huge amount of money on some engines. Because they looked... Okay, weapons free, right? Really? Oh, God. Let's... Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. And... Did... Are they running away from us? Are they running away from us? I had to use a... Wait, is somebody else helping us here? I can't tell. I think... Oh, have we got those bounty hunter helper things going on? Okay. Oh, it's those guys. Oh, just go, go, away, go, 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 cutting off no! Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. You're very annoying, and I'm going to kill you. Okay. Target lock. <laughs> yes, let's just. I could dock now, but I'm not going to bother. I might dock with your friends. Okay. All right, definitely feeling the mobility. Definitely feeling the mobility. Right, there we go. Oh, God, I think I ran straight into the missiles there. That was less impressive. And his missiles will have lost me. And. Come on, I want to I wanna get a lock. I want to get a lock. I want to get a lock. All right, come on. Oh. Yes, let's hit their engines. Hit their engines. Hit. Okay, we can dot. We can dot. Oh, wait, a minute. I could have done. I could do it from targeting mode. I could do it from targeting mode. Okay. This is all right. The ship definitely feels good. Definitely feels good. I should probably take this. Anyone just act casual or act hostile. Up to you. Okay. Go. Okay, we've ju we 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 we're, we're on a ship. I guess technically speaking, these are bounty hunters. I keep. Okay. Oh. What the hell is that? What? What is what? What is that? Okay, I don't know what. Do you know what that is? That, that that does not look good. What? Okay. All right, we got. Are they going to open the door for us? All right, we'll open the door ourselves. Here we go. Okay. Oh wow! You know what? Let's stick with something with a bit more range. Oh, and less recoil. Okay. And. Okay. We have control of the ship. There's no one left out there. No. We're almost certainly not going to keep this. I don't think we are. Let's have a quick. All right, that's not. Oh, we would. Oh, no, no. Bounty Defender. It's a bog basic A class. The only reason I would think about taking a ship at this point is so I've got another ship to use as a base for something else in future. But, uh... 
Am I becoming a callous person? I've just caused a lot of death and destruction. And it... I mean, realistically, I didn't need to kill these people. It's just... Okay, I might have issues. It, the thing is, is it just bothers me that they're laughing at me, talking about how they're going to take me out once my bounty's big enough. I, I find that... I find that very annoying. Been in the vanguard a long time. The faces change, but bad guys are still bad guys, you know. Now, you're right. You are absolutely right. They're bad guys. They're taking contract from the Ecliptic because that's who's put a contract out on me. The Ecliptics. No longer docked. We're free. So, screw them, right? You, if you're thinking about taking a contract from those people, you are not a good guy. Therefore, psh, screw you. Deserted relay station, civilian outpost, and spaceship debris. A lot of things going on on this planet. Okay. Let's go find this temple. So, what sort of planet are we dealing with? I've scanned it. It's 1G Inferno. So it's bloody hot and it's got carbon dioxide atmosphere. So, spacesuits on, sort of thing. Hot and stuffy. Really stuffy. <laughs> okay. And we should, of course, expect some sort of starborn intervention. Oh well. You know, is it me or does the ship feel empty with only it's four of us? Where up, Ezekiel, you and me. And for some odd reason that feels like very few people. Cobalt. Alright. Hillside cave. Okay, another anomaly over there. It would seem that the main distortions are coming from over there. That's going to be our temple, I guess. Oh, I need a better boost pack. I definitely need a better boost pack. Okay. That tower part of the temple looks slightly more intact than usual. Probably just a coincidence or random chance. Some towers fall over slightly more ruinously than others. You know, if I were the Starborn, I'd actually have ambushes waiting for me before I went into the temple. You know, before I got a new superpower kind of thing. Just saying. I'm not... Complaining. Lee scientists on these temples for decades and still only scratched the surface. Yeah, we should definitely do that. I mean, these things. I mean, I've got to say, these things are almost certainly alien. Unless we're dealing with time travelers, which is another option. But then they would have to have been people from the future who developed time travel technology and then went back in the past and built big bloody temples millions of years ago or many years ago at least so strange time travelers is what I'm saying which you know maybe maybe that's a bit of a given if you're a time traveler is it possible to be a time traveler without being a little strange. Could you imagine a society where time travel was just 
every day. I can't. I'd love to ask whoever designed this why. You know what I'm saying? I mean, apart from we just wanted to make it look and feel as epic as humanly possible. Was there some other purpose to all the rings? Is that part of the technology? Is it required? Does it do anything? Probably should focus. Is it is it another bad sign that I'm busy floating around a mystical alien temple trying to get the superpower? And I'm worrying about mundane things? Probably. Oh, God. you know what's... Yeah. Oh, come on! Right, seriously, is this is this whole part of that you need to work for it kind of thing? Is this a life lesson I'm learning here? Is this you need to be truly worthy of the power by whizzing backwards and forwards without losing your bloody mind? Is that what it is? Okay. I mean, oh, I missed that one, didn't I? Be it like if they're too far away, I should just leave them. Except that I'm not going to make it. Come on. That's... There we go. All right. So. Uh, let's just get ready for when this all... Okay. It feels more colourful now. Is it different? Such peculiar monuments. Yes. Something about the... Wait, 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 wait. Why isn't he... What the f... 